Hi, I'm Tara Stubbins. I'm a celebrity assistant, certified lifestyle manager, and time management expert. You can find me at takeiteasyconcierge.com. And thanks for listening to the Rockstar of Real Estate, realestatepodcastshow.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Paul here, realestatepodcastshow.com. Today I'm doing a special episode of my Saturday Sold Stories. So I wanted to do a countdown of the 10 hottest Ontario cities where buyers are bidding um, on, 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 on a level that we've never seen. And I'm talking about someone like myself who's been doing this for 21 years. I've never seen some of the stuff that I've seen. Now, number one, you'll have to understand that there's also what's happening behind the scenes that many of you don't know is that there is a record low amount of inventory across Canada. So let me explain. The average market, let's say over the last uh, 10 years, there's anywhere between four to six months of inventory. And that's usually a healthy amount that keeps things going. Right now, as of October, that number is much closer to two months of inventory. It might even be less. And this is across Canada. So this has caused, again, an unprecedented amount of demand across the, again, across many cities. So I'm going to do the countdown starting at number 10 and working my way up to number one. Um, Also going to talk about a story that was uh, that happened this week where there was a property this week in Ontario that had 43 offers registered on it. So let me explain that first before I do the countdown. 43 offers registered on a property. What that really means is that the property was just so, and this was not my listing. So I'm, I'm doing the analysis here. That property was so poorly priced that in doing this, in in doing a, a bidding date situation, which again, some people are still thinking is the right way, but they're not thinking it all the way through. You're not thinking about the reality of the inventory. That $7.99 with 40 offers is only going to sell for a price that those buyers that are in that price range are willing to pay. It's very likely that that same property being priced for 1.2 million, perhaps what it's worth, might have got a better offer. This is the one thing you guys don't want to do is you don't want to have the regret. You signed the papers, you got the deposit check, the deals firm, you can't get out of it. And you find out the next morning that another house not too far from you just sold maybe last night or a couple days ago, and they were priced at where you were sh- you should have been priced, and they got 98% of asking. Let's just make that up. Let's just say they got 2% less than asking. But at, at the same time, they ended up with 100000 200000 300000 more than you. How would that make you feel? There are cases over the years where I'll get an email in the morning from someone who just sold their house And asking me, this is after they've done it, what do I think of that price? And very often, again, I I, I have a variety of opinions about it, but if you're for sale, if I type in that address and I see that it's actively for sale, I can't say a thing. So I'm not in a position to help you or or get in the way of of any existing relationship. It's way too much drama. I'm, I'm not about that at all. So I'm telling you now, understand that you need to know that there are, there are different options available. And just because every other person on that street decided to do an offer date, and maybe you think that marketing down, meaning that you're only appealing to the people who are going to pay less than that price, if you think that's the right strategy, you might want to think again. 
it isn't the only game in town. There are better, more specific ways you need to understand. And I hope that you're understanding that this is the time to explore that. Before you sign any paperwork, before you do anything, make sure you get your report from me which you can get right at the front page of realestatepodcastshow.com or direct, you can type in sold.1515 second, S-E-C-S-E-C-O-N-D, homevalues.com. Sold.15 second, homevalues.com. In under 15 seconds, you'll be registered and you'll get the information that you need to make sure you have the right sold experience. You do not want to have regrets, especially on something that could be life changing amount of money for a lot of you. It is. So let's go through the top 10. And again, if you hear your city called out, make sure you reach out to me because you do not want to make the mistake of making the wrong marketing decisions. And and again, these are not negotiable. You can't, once you're signed up with someone and you're going down the wrong road, there is nothing I can do to help you. You could call me and, and, and say anything you want, but I can't get involved. It's only before your under agency agreement. So let's start off number 10 on the list. This is new market, Ontario, number 10 on the list, new market, Ontario, number nine, London, Ontario, number eight, Pickering, Ontario, number seven, Clarington, Ontario, number six, Waterloo, Ontario, number five, Ajax, Ontario, number four, Oshawa, Ontario, number three, Windsor, Ontario, number two, Whitby, Ontario, and number one on the list, Ottawa, Ontario. These are the top 10 hottest cities right now, according to Zucasa, based on the amount of uh, the amount of properties that are being uh, bid over asking. So this is where the majority of the demand is. So if you have a property in any of those 10 cities, we need to talk now. I've got um, the, the majority of those cities I handle, but in the other ones, there are people that work with me, places that are further away from me, such as London, such as Windsor, such as Ottawa, such as Waterloo. But all the other places, they're all places I handle directly, which means I take care of every step of the marketing and your soul story gets posted right here on this podcast. It's the best place to be. And I really do want the best for you. So your sold experience is really up to you, but make sure you start it right. Realestatepodcastshow.com. Thanks for tuning in. Have yourselves a great, safe and happy um, Halloween weekend. And um, I hope everything goes great for you.